When people hear the Internet of Things, they generally associate it with networks, devices, TVs and washing machines that can speak to you and how smart homes are going to change the world and revolutionize the way we work as individuals. The more inspiring part for me is how we utilize this information to truly make a difference in the world. Africa is a very large continent with diverse life and species sustaining uh, our animals, our wildlife uh, in this vast area is extremely important for future generations. The problem, however, is that Africa is such a large continent. The wide open spaces, uh, the issues in the landscape terrain that it has causes problems not only in protecting the animals and the wildlife that we have, but also in assisting those who do protect it in managing it. We at MTN, and specifically the Internet of Things division, have taken this problem to heart and have committed ourselves in providing solutions to combat this issue. So we've currently earmarked rhinos for a pilot to start seeing how we as MTN can add value not only to their existence but the longevity thereof. We approached one of our existing clients, Falke and uh, proposed to them a solution which they, they gladly accepted. The Internet of Things is an ecosystem of devices, network and services to deliver information and monitoring wildlife. These three components are broken down simply as asset management, tracking and monitoring units that are fitted to the animals, a new network that is in place to receive the information from these animals, and thirdly, the graphical user interface that allows people to understand what that information actually means, allowing them to then start forecasting and assisting in how they work better, how the environments work better, and how animals ultimately are kept safe. When rhinos move out of protected areas or close to known hotspots, that information is then automatically and immediately sent to the game rangers of Valkofon and that they understand that uh, the animal might be in, in some danger or it's veered into an area where known poaching activity has been happening. The big idea, of course, is that this specific solution is not only for rhinos, but once we can start measuring one of the most endangered species uh, in the world at present, it gives us the scope to expand that solution to different animals. The Internet of Things has the capability to be so much more than just the enabler for your next Netflix session. It allows us to have a broader view and a sense of understanding of how we can impact our surroundings, how we can be conduits to sustainable living within the environment. And that is the important thing. It's about taking information, taking services and taking solutions that you currently have changing them from their traditional usage and getting more value for the greater good 